Well, it's time to fry chicken. We're going to set the pan right here. And remember, the handle is designed to hold the chicken for us right here. This way, we have a place to put it. So, we're going to start here. Now, I'm standing on the side today for the camera can get in here and see what we're doing. So, we take the two big pieces first, like that. We go in the back, the middle, and the front. Then we go again, back, middle, and front. We're doing this to spread the chicken out. That way we're not putting it all in the same place. Okay, so we get the breast and the thighs. Now we're doing our legs. So pretty simple. Back, middle, and the front. Then the last thing we do is add the wings like so. Just like this. Then I'm going to move the tray and set it right here temporarily. And put the handle to the basket, pick it up about an inch. Shake, 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 shake. Lower it down. Put that there. Let me take my gloves off real fast. Close the lid. Turn the handle. Remember, spin, spin, spin. Red ball, red ball. Button number one. And that's how we fry chicken. If you notice, we're making pressure. The uh, pressure fire makes 12 pounds of pressure, and anything above 12, you can see it, it's starting to get rid of it. It goes uh, through the dead weight, it comes over and comes up here. And here's our solenoid valve, which actually closes to make our pressure. If you look over there, the safety relief valve. Another safety feature here is the, the latch here that locks down the lid. Okay, inside here is a little round disc which has some notches in it, and as you know, when the solenoid valve makes pressure, a pin goes into it and it keeps the uh, door handle, it keeps this from um, spinning open. And then we have the piece here in the front, so if I open this up, all the steam goes this way, nothing comes forward to us. Let's check and see what's going on in the fry pot. Well, we're at 295, so we're uh, recovering. Touch it twice. The set point's 325. Right now, we're at 75% for the filter tracking. Remember, we talked about that. Let's see if there's anything else there. And it's told us that today, we have not filtered yet. So once we start cooking all day, we can actually check how many times we filtered by touching the info key. As you can see, step number two has, gone, has started, and now we're uh, getting rid of all the steam from the fry pot. And we're counting down, two, one, there we go. Uh-oh, filter suggested. So let's see if I can turn this now. Okay. Press down, lift up, raise this. Look at all the condensation, comes down here, goes down the condensation channel, drips here, and goes down into the pot underneath. So let's bring the chicken up. We'll just let it sit here a minute. Let it drain. Now we'll use the dump table. Just dump it over like that. We'll replace the bastard right here. And as you can see, we've got some great fried chicken there ready to be eaten.